minor man or uh, you know little difficulty here um, although I finished I fixed the problem so we will be resuming what we are doing and everything and uh, I just wanted to say one thing quick to my beautiful girlfriend so give me a moment What's going on fam? We're going to keep going, moving and grooving through this beautiful, you know, landscape here. We're going to go here because I want to raid. So we're going to raid and we're just going to go for a few more things here. Um, basically what we're going to be trying to do is raid and get things built for my settlement. This is the settlement that we are currently in. There's a few things right here. This is the tattoo shop. I still need some more stuff here, as you can see in the tattoo shop specifically too. Um, I need 600. I have 500 and I only am 15 short of what I need. So we're gonna go raiding for a little bit. This is not even gonna be a short raid. We're gonna go for at least two raids right now. Two raids. I love doing this. The one thing I don't like about this character specifically is that he keeps his hidden blade on his arm. That is weird to me. I don't appreciate it. In a, in a little bit, a kind of a spit in the face to the assassins. But also, maybe he it's because of his ways. Norse mythology and Norse, you don't attack your enemy. You don't attack your enemy stealthily. In Norse mythology, in, Nor in Norse history, when you wanted to battle another man, or you wanted to kill another man in battle, you faced him head on. You told him, I invoke the right to battle you. The law that it is which she, he or she was wronged as a free man or woman. And they make sure that they kill that person and they know it. This is supposed to be in the eyes of the gods. The eyes of the gods, Odin, Thor, Boulder, Loki, Freya, if he does not do what they ask, they usually will deny him the access to Valhalla, which is the ultimate place for him to go. So, for now, he is going to be using that hidden blade head on. But people also wouldn't expect that. I mean, look at it. This looks like a regular gauntlet. But if you really look at it, you can see the little blade part right there. See it right there. Right there. I see. I can see it. It's right, oh, right over there. If you guys can see where I'm pointing. Follow my finger. <laughs> but you can see it. Which is pretty awesome. All right. So this is my this is my ship. I have not really customized the ship like in other games, but we are just going to kind of move along with this ship. All right. And I'm going to kind of just turn this boat around. This is a big guy. That kind of looks like a big rowboat, to be perfectly frank, but also it's not a big rowboat. Um, no, I want to go that way. Yep, there we go. No, no. There we go. I don't know what just happened there. The Alright, let's keep moving. Row, men, row. Row, row, row. <laughs> Alright, let's open the sail up. Let's get some speed going. Bring in your oars, men. There we go. What I really like about this is that it also talks about how the Norse mythology has changed, uh, not even Norse mythology, sorry, Norse history has changed the boats in here. So if you can see, this boat is a kind of a long, almost like a long, very long canoe, but the way it looks, 
is that the reason why it's built for speed. And the speed of, you know, having the oars and on top of having the sails for wind strength to move the, uh, to move us across the currents, it really opened the doors for a lot of exploration during this time, in this time in history, which was really just a beautiful thing. That they can go across seas and go to other places and have just this wonderful time doing it too like you really think about it like exploring this when it was new like think about that for a minute you never left home before and the first time you're leaving home is basically in this big canoe that you're going across the seas and the sea can swallow you up so but look at the craftsmanship on this 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 beautiful vessel and then on top of that Look what the, what's about to happen to the mast if I go under this bridge. They actually figured out a way to bring the mast down. Almost as if it's like on a pivot. Which is quite... I'm not sure if that's historically accurate or not, but that is something very interesting that I thought it was in the game. Alright, well let's... We can't open up the sails yet, but... Let's open the sail. Raid, boys. This is what a raid looks like, everybody. Everybody, let's go. So I'm a person that usually carries two axes. I like that. I feel better. I'm surprised we have not encountered any resistance yet. We usually encounter a few soldiers in the beginning. What looks like maybe all the soldiers. There they are. There they are. Let's go after these guys. Alright, there they are. Alright, I got them there. Most people are hiding in different areas. Hold on, let me open that up so I have more crew members. There we go. Where is a is that a wolf? Is that a wolf? No, that's a donkey. Uh, let's try to open this up. Give me a hand! All right, let's go. Ah! No, you don't. Ooh. Slash and slash. All right, there we go. Gotta get rid of this dude before moving forward. My thanks. I need to get. Here you go. Yeah, it's just unlocking the door. We'll see what we can do here. Uh, he seems like he found some gold. So these big ass chests here, if you're just starting to play the game, but this big ass chest over here, this is where you get all your real loot, all right, for any supplies that you may need, raw materials, bulk collect.
They may call us heathen brothers, but we shall prevail. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We are not heathens. Oh. Oh. Oh my god, there's two of them right there. I didn't even notice. Alright. Well, that guy's dead. Oh. Dude, he's like... Kicking my ass. Get out of here, pikeman. Oof. I don't like you. Come here. Stop. Can you... Yo, y'all y'all just pissing me off now. Get out of here. Stab that through your abdomen. There you go. And, yeah. There we go. Thor, grab, grant me some strength, please. find the key. And that's probably in here. Hey, can't do this alone. Help. Why take it so long to help? Alright. Alright. That's it. Back to the ship. No, I don't want to go back to the ship yet. There is still something to be opened. And I want to know how to open it. <laughs> Why does it sound like there's something here? Hmm. We don't know. Should probably search everywhere in this area. Possibly. No, 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 don't get on top. Why would I? Come on, man. I didn't mean to grab that. All right, well, that's okay. We're gonna restart from last saved. And uh, it's gonna kind of move and groove in here.
Alright, so I accidentally killed myself in that raid. That's okay. Um, although I still don't know how to get that. Maybe it's probably on top. Maybe it's on top? The key may be on top of it. Sometimes, like, they put it in the most obvious places. Where it might be, like, on top or something. But, like, you know, don't really know. But we'll see. Let's take a look. Alright. There's Opal. There's this. Let me loot this. Oh, two. Yet I still can't seem to find a key. Hmm. Troublesome. So I gotta use my raven in order to find things. He's very helpful this way. Ah! I already found something different. And I got... I need this cloak. This cloak needs to be off. I don't want that cloak on there. Hey Siri. Call Alex Smith. Keep moving around. Right, I need to find this fucking key. Yeah. Really, I I go all the way up here and no key. All right. Well, at least it was worth a shot. Um, let's take a look. Maybe he might. Maybe it might be somewhere else. Maybe it might be one of these little, little huts. Maybe here. All right, let's try to look. Ooh. My thanks, God's favor. Fierce breath. Why the fuss? Here already. No, I am not. Seems like a different building. Maybe not. Hmm. Take a look around. Come on, Avor, you can figure this out.
Or whatever that guy just said. Who cares? <laughs> That looks like only really nothing much in there. Nothing much in here either. Alright, let's keep moving. Hmm. See so food, rations, okay. Hmm. Let's take a look. Here. I guess I'll find that in due time, but that's quite annoying. Alright, we're gonna go for another raid. And this time, I will not die <laughs> after this raid is done. So that raid has been finished. Raid. That's 90. That's 220. It's just a power level 20. It's power level 20. It's just. I guess we'll go to there. Keep moving. Oh, boys, come on now. Let's do it. Come on, men. Hoorah! Sails up. On the marrow. Sails down. Mast down. Lower the mast. It's me 13,000 meters. I'm sorry, 1,300 meters away. Take a raid. Are they seriously swimming across? Because <laughs> this messed up where the raid was supposed to be. <laughs> Swim across, men! Go! Vava Hala! Men! Let's go! A sacrifice! <laughs> Thank you. 
one of them down. <laughs> Dude still got a little golden thing hanging over his head. That's alright. We're gonna just dump him in the water. Got no head left either. Pretty brutal, this game. Escape for you, big guy. this this kill. Oof. You found me out. I bow to this. But you will not unearth us all. You will not dig deeply enough. We are both a clot and cancer. We sit heavy in water. And yet we spread like a river's current. Are you well? Why would you ask such a question at such a time as this? Beneath your words is something of a size unknown. A mystery lurks behind every frail word from your mouth. Well, order membered eliminated. I took her out. That's right. It was me. <laughs> Alright, let's hop out my crew. Alright, let's get that dude out. Get out of here. Get out. Don't attack my crew. Hold on a moment.
All right, let's get back into it. I apologize for that. So we took out somebody from the order. That was really important, important uh, stuff to do. So that's done. I bet. Are we still fighting? Are you still fighting somebody? Oh, there's a snake on the ground, I see. Hmm. We just got a new axe. Let's take a look at this. See if I got any runes. So we're just going to keep moving here. It seems like my crew member is having an issue. It seems like I'm having an issue. Excuse me. Stomp him out. Took off your arm. <laughs> Take him out. Everybody back to the ship. I wasn't going to be able to make that turn. 
Dude, it's like impossible to get around this area with him. Alright, so. He just said, Great Thor, what's got on into you? <laughs> it's time to raid. Alright, Raven clan, let's do it. those two. Alright, let's get up here. I'm gonna keep moving. I gotta keep moving. Come on. Get this Yao Man out of my face. Stab you through the freaking gut. Alright. Oh, Lee died. <laughs> That's cool. Alright. Alright, it's always good to collect food, by the way. Uh, if you are playing this game, collect the food that you can see. Uh, you will usually see that with an arrow uh, with a triangle above it. And yeah, basically you can do that. More of these fucks. Got 
the best. I right, got him. Anything you find with a triangle above it, you want to pick that up as much as possible. some loot for me. Perfection. We need to find some more loot, though. At least it would be nice to find more loot. Let's see what they have over here. Nothing? Okay. Unlock door. Open door. Alright, let's go. Shitter? Ah, no you didn't. Secret passage. Secret passage, wait. Alright. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Here, bud. I know I chopped your face in half, but we're gonna put you down here. I don't want people seeing you. No, I've been down here. Alrighty. Let's do it. New ability, Dive of Valkyries. Nice. Dude, yes. I love that I get new things in here that help me a lot. It's just wonderful. Be a problem. Seems like it's brewing upstairs. I gotta go check that out. More opal. Yes, dog. Opal. Ooh, yes. Ore down here. Fuck yeah. I need that for building building up my my weapons and everything. Alright. More ore. That's always good to have. Alright, let's go back up the stairs. Pikemans. Oh shit, they that's what happened. Come on. Thanks, Oh now I'm caught on fire. Thanks, Dude, come on, let me get up there. Like, don't be a dick. There you go.
Dude, how are you gonna tell me there's a, a window here and I can't get through it? Yo, who was a gate in front of a window back in this time? Who? No one thought that. Hey, Bullshit. Come here. Let's get this. Ooh, a clover. All right, we got clover, a bucket, some other things. All right, more silver. Why can't I open this? There we go. That was like the bug of the century. <laughs> I'm sorry, what was that about taking my last breath? <laughs> You're funny. She awaits in the marsh. A cruel. Halsty? I don't know. Uh, wrench. Uh, wretch. Disturb her to awaken a demon. One who will eat your soul. Stay away. Stay away! <laughs> Love that. Alright. Salute this. Nice. Supplies. Always helpful. Always helpful. Um, definitely gonna have more supplies somewhere else. They're gonna. They boarded this up. I mean, to me, that's kinda dumb. Can we get this back to the ship? It's like, come on, I can move that. I can move that. Look at this big halting brute. I can move whatever. Don't fucking matter. Put something in front of me, I ain't gonna stay there for long. Alright, re ready to complete. Alright, let's open this door. Let's get back to the ship. Alright. So, this is really... This video is mainly just about raiding and understanding like what the importance of raiding is in this game. And really the importance of raiding is to kind of just get your village up to optimal speed and to have your settlement really just ready for raids because other people will raid us because we are raiding other villages so people will take retaliation. And I need to make sure that all of my defenses are up, I need to make sure that they are well protected. Because this is my settlement. so. They are my responsibility. And we did leave Norway in order to make a new life for ourselves because the king there, as I was mentioning in the other video, I'm probably going to delete that one, so I'm going to reiterate it here, is that the king, King Harold, wanted to, or Harald, or I don't even remember his name, but the king basically in Norway wanted to take away Sig, Siegfried's um, right to rule. So we decided, as a clan, the Raven clan, to leave. And... Now we're we're going. We're creating a new place for ourselves. We are in England. This is the North Sea over here. We have North Umbria. There's Mercia, which I have been kind of pillaging a lot recently. There is East East Angola, and then Wessex. And Wessex is a very large piece of land here. And we should be at least like 160, as it says. 130. I mean, there's 340 power. I mean, look at that. So we really have a lot to do in this game. I'll probably do at least one actual story mission with you guys. Then I'm probably going to call it, I'll be honest with you. 
had a very long day with myself, so it's been very long. But I wanted to, to share this experience with you guys because, like, I am super excited about this game. This game is so much fun. I have a lot of fun with it. There is no downside, in my opinion, to this game. Only ups. You know, so, yeah. It's, uh, it's pretty fun. I very much enjoy it. I'm going to keep moving and grooving into this game anyway, if I am with you guys or not. Um, just going to say that out loud. Because, to be perfectly frank, you know, the game is the game and I want to play it. So, you know, even if you guys are here or you're not, or I decide to stream or not, I just want to let you guys know about my progress, about certain parts of the game, things that I'm learning and figuring out. I will put it on here. I will show you guys how to do certain things. Rating was one of them. Rating, you just gotta make sure you find those boxes. Those boxes are very important. Those big gold boxes, huge stuff, lots of rewards. You also wanna make sure that you kill the people that you need to kill there in order to kind of like not have to raid there twice. Um, and also, yeah, finding all the treasures, there's usually three treasure boxes. You're gonna wanna find all three. So, and then you get all those materials. I mean, really, there's no downside. So, this guy here at the forge, I think I. The gods are smiling. I think I've fixed it over here. We've had three things in my settlement so far three places a forge, um, stables, and I have the assassins. Oh, my gear. I want to upgrade my gear. May I see your stores? <laughs> so we're going to upgrade that. Upgrade the cloak too. I've already kind of upgraded these things. Mm, the Huntsman Helm or the Raven Helm. Can I sell any of these? No. Nothing else I can do for you. I will see you later, friend. Be well, my friend. Good night. Alright, Eivor, we gotta go somewhere else and figure this shit out. So. Alright, let's build this. Even the tattoo shop, everything's kind of important to build. You want to make sure that you're, as you see, my colony goes up in, in level, so you want to make it to level six. That's really the main goal. Make it level six. Make it, make it so you like really like get lots of stuff done. Do a few raids at a time. Spend. All right, spend. You got your, you got your beautiful tattoo shop there. And now. I'm going to help my buddy out over here. He's also been asking about when he's going to get his. And that's going to be now. Hunter's Hut. Thank you for this. Whether fur, meat, or bone, we will provide only the finest. And if you intend to go hunting, consider bringing us your kills. We will prepare the hides and heads. Aye. I've been mounting Petra's trophies for years, and she's a discerning woman. In all things. I'll keep that in mind. Enjoy your new home. Eivor, you seem to be someone with a penchant for trophies. I do like victories, but I rarely keep a record of them. Your weapons show the marks of great battles, and you walk with a pride that speaks to your triumphs. Am I wrong? You are not. Why do you ask? To bolster our trade, of course. 
Wallace is the finest tanner and taxidermist in all of England. If you wish the tales of your hunts to outlast you, there is no better way than making trophies of your kills. If you defeat a rare and worthy creature, bring it to us. We will display it for you. A good idea. Keepsakes to adorn the Longhouse. Thank you, Petra. Oh, and before you go, could you spare a moment for a small favor? Go ahead. For the past few evenings, I've heard the howling of a pack of wolves just beyond the border of our woods. Unchecked, they will ravage the wild game in this area. And once the deer are dead, they may turn to us. You feel we should drive them off? I would eliminate them entirely, with your permission, of course. And your help, if possible. Yeah, let's go do it. I will join you now. Good. A pack of wolves is a foolish thing to underestimate. Let's go. This way. I last saw them prowling around just up the hill. You lead. I'll follow. Man, I really am liking Eivor as a character. He is really just very fair rule. Uh, I wouldn't call him a ruler because he's not really a ruler, but he is the second hand of a ruler and he's very fair. He tries to help out everybody. By attacking us. A wolf will do whatever it takes. They were displaced. Now they come to our door. Look here. Breadcrumbs and crusts. They must have stolen something from Tarbin's stall or off a table somewhere. You saw breadcrumbs hmm. from where you stood. They stand out clearly from the soil and grass. See there? Wow. Come. This way. Ah. Smell that. That's a male wolf. Marking his territory. Warding off the competition. How do you know it's a male? A different odor. You pick it up. How did you come to be such a skilled tracker? My family were hunters and trackers. From further east than you've ever seen, I imagine. But I've lived in England for most of my life. This is where we found Wallace. You two are siblings, as Sigurd and I are siblings. Bound by honor, blood blood. Yes. To hear my mother tell it, we came upon Wallace abandoned. A babe in the woods. We took him in. Look, the wolves made a kill here. They're in the area. Those trails. They must have dragged the poor beast away. We're getting closer. Yeah, half of its carcass is here. Ah, see those teeth marks on the carcass? They're different. This is the pack's doing, not just one. That's right. Let's go on. So your family found Wallace in the woods. We were traveling through the forest when I spotted a white elk ahead of us. I chased it, hoping to take it down. I lost it as I came to the clearing. And there on the ground was a wee babe. Our little Wallace, swaddled and alone. Ah, look at that. The pattern on the grass. They slept here. I'm impressed, Petra. You have a raw skill. You have seen nothing just yet. So you saw a white elk, and that led you to Wallace. That's right. It felt fated. We took him in and nursed him back to health. I was scarcely more than a toddler myself then, and from that day forward, we were raised as brother and sister. Hmm. These kills are fresh. They're likely near enough to hear us. Probably fled the scene not long ago. Hmm. I think we found our wolves. You there. Get to cover. Evil, with me. Let's end this. I'm at your side. Oh, God! Oh, Stuart! Please! Help!
sorry, we won. I never like to kill wolves. Sorry, bud. Couldn't let you live. Uh, that should be all of them. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, both of you. Are you all right? Were those your sheep? They were. God take them. They were all I had in the world. Poor blighters never stood a chance. I lost my cows some months back. Now the sheep are gone. Frowny Jesus, what sort of farmer am I? I'm sorry for your loss. With the wolves gone, you can recover in peace. Not without the blessings of God, I won't. But I shall try. You have your life, farmer. With that alone, you can always rebuild. Ava, hold. I hear something. What? I don't hear... Oh, oh goodness gracious me! Felix, Rosemary! My beauties! You're alive! Come here, my precious angels! Well, that worked out. This was grand, Eivor. You hunt almost as well as you fight. Give me a few weeks, I'll learn to track as well as you. Or better. I would be happy to be so humble. This was a joy, Petra. Do not hesitate to call on me the next time you spot any errant beasts. You are the first on my list, Eivor. See you soon. Alright. So, we are probably going to end right around here. I really did enjoy showing you guys this part of the game. I always love showing you guys every part of any game that I am playing. Um, I will let you know that I have the other Assassin's Creed games, and if you guys really want to see other content, you guys want to be here, let me just turn on my camera so you all, all can see me real quick. If you guys want to tell me about the other games, I have other games. I have Assassin's Creed Black Flag, I got Assassin's Creed Unity, I got Assassin's Creed Syndicate, I got Assassin's Creed Origins, and Odyssey, and this one. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six games that I have. Y'all can always choose and tell me which one that you would like to see. Um, I gotta be honest, four is still my one of my favorites. That game is really, really fun. Um, there's like a lot of the old mechanics of four that are usually in the older games, but I love those kind of mechanics. It is one of my favorite things ever. Um, but without further ado, uh, we're just going to kind of get over here back to the village. Um, but I just want to mention that everybody's support and love over the past few months of me streaming has been phenomenal. I know I only got 32 subscribers. Um, that's great, but if anybody ever does stumble onto this page, if anybody ever says, sees anything that they like, please subscribe, man. I would love your support. I don't care if you guys are here all the time. I'm going to also be changing a lot of my, my streaming times, so you guys can check my Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter to see when I will be changing those times. Anyway, I hope that everyone has been having a really great evening. I hope that everybody has enjoyed the gameplay that I put out and the commentary that I bring to the table. And if anybody ever has any questions, comments, concerns, declarations of love, please put those in the comments. I would love to talk to you guys. Anyway, I hope that you guys have a wonderful day. And remember, if you can't take my heat, get out of my kitchen. I'll see you guys later.